Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to our power. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, that continue to our will. Honor to your brothers of delivery and truth and sincerity. And uh, Shalom to your few sincere, to your few sincere sisters. Okay? Um, you know, me the lesson in basically the, you know, going into the two, going to the marks, the mark that, uh, you know, the mark to take, I mean, not the mark to take, the mark not to take, and that mark that, the mark that you, uh, should want, and the mark that you shouldn't want, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna say it like that, okay, so, um, I mean, it's gonna be a quick one, so, you know, a little one of the video will be edifying, okay, I'm gonna get straight into it, the, uh, I'm gonna get the first script that motivated me to do this video, Ezekiel 9 and verse 4 And the Lord, Yahweh Bashmael Shai, said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and say, Mark upon the foreheads of the man that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of the in the midst thereof. Okay? And that mark that is talking about is not the same mark in Revelation. Okay? The, the mark in Revelation is the Karagma. Okay? And that mark you do not want to take. Okay? That mark you can't repent from. That mark is bound down and, and, and saying Esau Edom is your God. So that's the mark that you don't want. Okay? This mark right here uh, where it says and, it's, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the man that sighed and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay? And that word, that mark goes into um no um, mark of mark of exception. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go on a blue letter. You know, you know, still gonna go on a blue letter, blue blue letter, real quick. So bear with me, please. Uh, Baba Kasha. Mm -hmm. What was it? Ezekiel nine. says in Zechariah 14 and verse 12 I believe correct me if I'm wrong you know you know that's what that's what the judgment 
that people gonna uh, taste that, take that mark too. All right, the, 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 that Smith, you know, the nukes, you know, the, um, you know, ICBMs, man. All right, and the spirit of the Lord gonna be in them, okay. And you guys gonna milk your, your eye holes, gonna milk, you know, your tongue, shuck a soon. And I probably brought it out, so I'm, I, you know, I just wanna, for edification's sake, it's lock here. I probably brought it out in the video. No, I just wanted to get that. Sorry. Let me get the next, uh, <laughs> Let me finish that off. I'm not sure if I finished this. Uh, I think I did, but I'm reading again. Ezekiel, th uh, Ezekiel 9 and verse 4. And it reads, And the Lord, Yahweh Bashemah Shai, said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of, of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay? And like I said, everything is predestinated. Okay? But if you sincerely sighing and crying and like i always say in my videos no one knows yourself better than yourself okay and obviously besides the lord i'm not you know but that's obvious like i even said in my lessons recently um you know if you out there are sighing and crying sincerely you know you really out there for your how about you shy you really out there because you, you you hate this place you know you're uh you know a wise man you know a pressure uh Present the wise man, you're really out there because it's really oppressing you. You're not just out there just to be out there. All right, you should uh, you should be straight. You should be um, you shouldn't really have to, uh. If you, uh I'm, I'm, the reason I say this is because don't I overthink a lot, brother? I know me. I know I overthink. Okay, so don't overthink too much, man. If you sincere and you're really doing the work of the Lord, you sign a crime and sincerity. Hey, hey, that's that. I'm gonna say that's a good sign. You know, that's a good sign that your 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 predestined your predestinated life. <laughs> Okay, that the Lord already set up for you it might be a, it might be good. It, it, it more than likely gonna be good at the, at the end of the road. Okay. Um, and the ones that take the kragma, okay, and this is talking about you know, you know during the um, you know the Shabbat, you no, know, the land's blood on the um, on the on the doorpost and all that. Okay, your house shies. You know, it's talking about you know when he was slain, motherfuckers. Okay. Okay, and if you don't got that mark, I mean, if you take that mark, the other mark I was talking about, the karagma, this is what's going to happen to you, okay? And to your children, okay? Your friend, your face, and your woman, and your women, and your, and your woman is going to get ravished, too, okay? But I'm going to read these scriptures to get my next script, okay? Um, verse 5, and to the others, he said in my hearing, go ye after him through the city, and smite, no slay. That's what it means, basically. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Okay? Verse 6. Slay utterly old and young, both, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men, which were before the houses. So I'm tying this in with the future. Okay, I'm going to tie this in with the future. The, the Lord is going to slay utterly old and young, both maid and little children and women. Okay, um, you know, um, to you, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to put the man out there to you dumb niggas that's going to take the karagma, especially if you're in this truth. You know, you know better. You take the karagma, ain't no repenting from that. Your, your, your wife, your children, your, 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 your family going to fucking perish, man, in a horrible horrific way and it's not gonna be quick either okay the lord gonna probably gonna have your ass watch your woman get ravaged your children get ravished and and you be the last one to get perished uh get put the uh you no know, deletion okay if you take that other if you got the, if you got that other mark all right you know you take it you know in the future when people take that mark and, and they think everything cool and sweet because they be able they gonna be able to buy and sell or whatever and Right when they take that mark, bro, it's a rat. Done, dada. No matter how cool it looks to them or whatever, to the eye of the people, or the eye of their eye, or whatever. All right? This is the mark that we want. This the this the this is the mark, man. Okay, that other shit is that that's that that's bullshit, man. This is the mark, you know? Mark of exemption. Okay, that's the mark that you want. Okay? But um, let me get my next script. You know the point is made on that. <laughs>
foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. You know, that's our, like I said earlier, if that's even a word, that's Lord willing, that's what you want. That's what you, uh, that's what you, that's what your predestinated life, that's what you want your predestinated life to be, if that's even a word, okay? Okay, that's what, that's what you should want, all right? Not the other, not the other one, okay? Um, like I said in the beginning. And, um, uh, read the verse, uh, Slakia, Slakia. Ephesians 1 and verse 4, according as he had chosen us and him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Okay? And having that, and taking that other mark, like I said, no, there's no repenting from that, man. That, 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 that's a nigga that take that mark, he was predestinated for death. Okay? Um, the Karakma mark. All right. And this this right here is the goal. And this is what we pray for to be in this situation, to be in this lot. OK, what I'm reading right now. OK. Um, verse five, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. Woo, man. Verse six to the praise. Um. You know, we want to be in the hands of Yahweh Bashem Shai, not the hands of the devil, okay? That's the, that's, that's, that's real, uh, that's the, um, I can't think of the word, I lost my train of thought, so I'm going to just continue. According to the good pleasure of his will, verse 6, to the praise of the glory of his, of his grace, wherein he had made us accepted in the beloved. Woo, man, that's what it's about. In whom we have redemption through his blood you know man it's like i'm not gonna get on that this ain't this not part of the lesson the forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace that's what it's about man we want your house shot blood you know to be upon us man that's what it's about man that's what life that's what life is about for israelite all right um well that's what uh 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 uh, 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 uh yeah, Israelite man, cause you niggas ain't Israelite. You niggas is fucking heathens. All right, so I said it right. That's 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 the life of an Israelite man to have this right here to be predestinated for this life. Okay, and like I said in, a, in earlier, you know y'all didn't highway the Bible sincerely, like you know yourself more. Slocky. For education's sake, what I mean by that, you know, you niggas are not uh, uh, Israelites, you know, mentally, you know, spirit, uh, uh, mentally, man. You guys are heathens. Okay, so it doesn't really matter for y'all. I just want to clear it. I say it. No, anybody else know yourself? Hey, then hey, your predestined your predestinated life might uh, uh, more than likely is gonna be golden, man. Okay. So when people take that karagma, that 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 death, that death mark, um, and they out there eating for a moment or whatever, buying and selling, man, the Lord, the man of the Lord, gonna still eat, man. All right. And actually, hey, I'll take that back, man. They're going to take the Karagma, you know, and they're going to fucking perish, man. They stomach's still going to touch their back, man. And the men and the Lord are going to be eating. Okay, why? Because they trust in the Yah by Shemel Shai and have that mark of redemption. Okay? I'm going to get, uh, let me see. Because I kind of already explained Revelation 13, so I'm trying to see. Should I even get it? So this is Revelation 13, verse 16. I'm going to read it for edification's sake. And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in a right hand or in their foreheads. Okay? And that's the mark I was talking about that you do not want. All right? It says he's going to uh, uh, um, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, man. Okay? Um... You know, um, it doesn't matter what class you're in, you are in too. It don't matter if you're rich or poor, free, so-called free, you know, out of jail or are in jail. Okay. doesn't matter. The, the, the Esau, the devil, Edom is going to come through. Okay. He's going to come offer it to you, man. You know, strip shit away 
away from you. Strip your family away from you. You know, he gonna strip certain things away from you to test you, man. All right? But if you stay strong for Yah Bashim Yah Shai, it ain't nothing but W's. You know? If you give up and be weak for Esau Edom, you gonna get fucked anyways. Okay? You gonna, you know, the niggas that take that shit, Esau probably gonna got your ass and you can still keep your family and still do you dirty. Okay? That's the Lord getting your ass. All right? But anyways, though, this is the mark that you don't want. Okay? This is the mark on the left hand side. This is the mark of death. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay? Verse 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. Slacky, excuse me. For it is the number of a man. And who's that? I just said it. Esau Edom. The red man, Mr. Red Man. And his number is 603 score and 6. What's 603 score and 6? Obviously 666. So obviously this mark is evil as shit. And does evil last forever? No. What lasts forever? Righteousness, man. Okay? So, um. You know, I just got that for edification's sake, you know. You know, brothers out here through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Al Shai ain't just talking. It's all in the spirit of Yahweh Shem Al Shai. All right? But anyways, um, let me get my my next script. I got two more. I'm gonna close out. Lord willing to be edifying. Lord willing, Lord willing.
14 and verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord, Yahweh Shai, will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Okay? And uh, I think my last lesson, uh, uh, two that I did, I believe I even said, you know, you damn uh, Jakes, you ain't truly Israelites. Okay? You make our hell harder too. So it is, this goes towards you too. All right? Uh, uh, scripture that proves that uh, um, every um, I'm gonna get a preset real quick. I'm gonna have to get it since I'm speaking on it. It's a lucky brothers. Uh, Zechariah 14 12. I said Zechariah. Romans 9 verse 6 Not as though the word of God Yahweh Shemiel Shai Had taken none effect For they are not all Israel Which are of Israel Okay And, and what does that mean Wait a Slakia Slakia This is Romans 9 and verse Romans 9 and verse uh, Verse 6 we read, read it one more time Slakia Slakia not as though the word of God, Yahweh Shemel Shai, had taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Okay? For they are not all Israel which are of Israel. So I get it. Okay? So basically, you know, if you're not circumcised in the mind, man, you a fucking heathen. Straight up. So, with that being said, you an enemy. Okay? You are an enemy. You're going to die and perish with your daddy, the devil. Okay, so just to clear that up, it goes for you, Jake's too, because you go against us too, man. You a fucking heathen in the mind, so you're gonna die like a heathen. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand. I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna go to the top again. Zechariah 14 verse 12, and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh Shemuel Shai will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their eye holes. So like it. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouths, man. Okay? And rightfully so, you fucking... You, you, man. People people deserve it, man. Alright? So I'm going to just calm my spirit down because, you know, the Lord the Lord going to um, pick up his men, man. No matter how ugly it looks right now. You know, the true man of the Lord got the victory, man. Okay? The, the, the triumphing... <laughs> Uh, I'm just joking, but I'm serious, though. Uh, the righteous is forever, okay? Because that word goes into victory, um, you know, but your so-called victory for you left-handed motherfuckers is just for a moment, man, okay? And it's really not a victory. It really just, you know, it's really uh, 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 really just a blind, y'all, okay? But anyways, um, you know, Lord within this video is edifying. I'm going to close out with that. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to our power. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakat Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone that uh, continue to grow well. And honors to you, brothers, out there laboring in truth and sincerity. Shalom to you, few sincere sisters. With that, I want to say, above a ball, Kwame Yasharala, Shalom. Israel, the, the, the right hand side.